synthesis of nanoparticles through chemical methods. First chemical method for nanoparticle synthesis is co-precipitation method. The co-precipitation technique involves the precipitation of metal in the form of hydroxide from a salt precursor with the help of a base in a solvent. So here we will use a base that will produce the hydroxide and the metal will be formed from the salt precursor. So it will produce a metal hydroxide that will further proceed towards the nucleation, particle growth and drying and calcination. Further it will produce the nanoparticle. So first we will use cationic and anionic precursor and their solution. When it is dissolved in specific solvent, it will produce cationic and anionic solution. These are mixed together. It will produce a nucleus or the first particle. After the growth of this particle, a precipitate will be formed. That will be in the form of metal hydroxide. After that, it will be filtered and calcination so it will be converted to the nanoparticle so the control release of anions and cation assist to regulate the nucleation and particle growth kinetics which help to synthesize the particle size or nanoparticle size of monodispersed size or in a given range size Second method is sol gel method. It is a wet chemical technique and it is used for the development of various kind of high quality metal oxide. So it is specifically used for the metal oxide synthesis. And this is all known as sol gel method because during the formation of metal oxide nanoparticles, a liquid precursor will be transformed to a sol and the sol is converted to a network structure that is known as gel. So here in sol, there are two phases. One is known as dispersion medium and disperse phase. So in case of sol, the dispersion medium is liquid while the disperse phase is a solid. In case of gel, it is a network of connecting structures. So in case of gel, the disperse phase is a liquid and the dispersion medium will be a solid. So in case of sol gel method, sol and gel both are formed during its synthesis. That's why this method is known as sol gel method. For the synthesis of nanoparticle through sol gel method, different steps will be performed such as hydrolysis, condensation, aging, drying and calcination. Metal oxide will be used as a precursor for nanoparticle through sol gel method. So first step is hydrolysis in which the precursor or the metal oxide is hydrolyzed in the presence of water or with the assistance of alcohol to form a sol. So the first step is the formation of sol through hydrolysis. Second step is condensation that is the formation of a gel or networking porous structure. So in this condensation process, it results in an increase in the solvent viscosity and it will produce a porous structure that is further allowed to aging. During the condensation and polycondensation process, hydroxo, which is this OH group and oxo, oxygen group, these, these will form a bridges between two metals. So here it will, uh, we will look at the formula. It is clear that OH group is present between two metals and uh, in case of oxo, oxygen is present between two metals. So it will form a bridge between two metals resulting in metal hydroxo and metal oxo polymer formation. Third step is aging. During aging process, polycondensation will be continued and it will change this structure, porosity and properties of resulting material. During aging, the porosity decreases and the distance between the colloidal particle increases. Fourth step is drying. 
after the aging there is drying step in which the water and organic solvent are removed to form a gel third uh, sorry fifth step is calcination so it is performed at high temperature and it will results in nanoparticle this will show a summarized picture of sol gel process first a metal precursor will be used and it is hydrolyzed so it will produce a sol so first step is the sol formation which is through hydrolysis second step is condensation in which a connected porous structure or networking porous structure will be formed it is a bridging between metal and metal through oxygen and metal and metal through hydroxyl group so in condensation there is a gel formation after that there is a drying and aging so drying will be performed through different methods such as supercritical drying thermal drying or cooling drying so it will produce a different size products that is aerogel zero gel and cryogel last step is calcination so when it is heated at high temperature it will produce a final product that is nanoparticle third chemical method for nanoparticle synthesis is hydrothermal method it is basically a solution reaction based approach it is performed at high vapor pressure level that is obtained from high temperature in aqueous solution so here we will use a high temperature and aqueous solution that's why the name is given as hydrothermal method hydro mean water thermal mean temperature hydrothermal technique for nanoparticle synthesis need a special instrumentation called hydrothermal autoclave reactor and it consists of thick and steel wall cylinder vessel having a hermetic air tight sealing this sealing will help to bear a high level of heat and pressure regularly and safely for a long time and it will also show resistance towards solvent 